Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 38. This week, you can see that I'm shooting from a new laboratory in my basement. And uh, the reason for that is I've recently moved. And this uh, moving process has been ongoing for a few weeks now. And that's part of the reason I haven't been releasing videos on a regular basis uh, for the past few weeks. Another part of the reason is that I've been doing a lot of uh, travel for work. Actually, the next two weeks, I'll also, weekends, I'll actually be traveling as well, so I won't have time to do videos then either. But after that, hopefully things will be a bit more regular and uh, we'll get back to the weekly schedule for videos. What I'll be talking about this week are a few camera acts related projects in the pipeline. And uh, I'm not gonna give timelines of when these are coming out or anything like that. It, expect at least a few months and many of them are, are quite some time away yet but I think that they're all very interested interesting and uh, it's in large part thanks to the camera camera community there's been a few dedicated individuals that have stepped up and really helped me along uh, with each of these process projects and in some of them they've actually been leading the projects so um, I'll be a sort of a giving out credit when these uh, projects are officially announced, but I sort of wanted to give everybody watching these videos a heads up on the sorts of things that are in the camera acts uh, pipeline and I always appreciate feedback on, on things that you think should be coming out eventually and you know if you have any ideas post post them in the comments and uh, especially if you're willing to put in some effort into making them come to completion and be in a state that's shareable to the rest of the camera X community. So the first of the projects I wanted to talk about is a new and improved multi-flash board that we've been working on. Uh, so this is the original multi-flash board, the one that's in the store today, and it's really useful and it's a lot more, uh, a lot less expensive than the work we're working on. But the idea here is that you have one input and four outputs for either cameras or flashes, and that works uh, quite well. Now the problem is that a lot of people want to do a bit more advanced effects where they can control the timing for each of these uh, flash outputs and uh, perhaps do a few other nifty tricks with the multi flash board. So uh, what we're working at the multi flash board itself will still have one input into the camera axe and then it'll have many outputs but there'll be an LCD screen and controls so that you can control each of these outputs. Another thing that we've been working on is there's the uh, valve sensor. This is one of the most popular sensors for the camera X because people wanna uh, take pictures of droplets and specifically they'll do one droplet and then another droplet and they'll collide together and create all of these really cool shapes. But I'll admit that this isn't the best design in the world. A lot of times this thing will break off, the, the, the glue holding the valve on here will break, um, or as the uh, liquid drains here, the pressure reduces, so the behavior of the droplets change, and sometimes this valve will get gummed up with different kinds of liquids and things. So I'm doing a complete redesign of the valve sensor and coming out with one that's hopefully around the same cost, but a uh, much higher quality. So here's the motor sensor that's been available in the camera X store for a long time now. Uh, the problem has always been the software for these has been lacking, right? There's all sorts of cool things you could do with a uh, stepper motor in your camera. You can do pan and tilt for time-lapse uh, panning, you can do uh, astrophotography, you could do gigapixel type effects, tons of things you could do with just a pan and tilt. And then if you start incorporating other ideas, you could do like a, a rail for um, depth stacking, for macro photography, lots of things you can do with this motor, but the software has never really been there for the camera X. And recently the software's gotten a lot better, thanks in large part to some help I've gotten in, from the community for that. And uh, uh, the next version of the Camera X software should have these uh, improvements. Also, there's a couple of people in the community working on uh, different types of jigs that you could attach these motors to to do different things like pan and tilt. 
And while I alluded to it a little bit earlier, where I said, you know, there's software coming out for stepper motors, uh, that's definitely one thing that's been uh, in the works on the software front for the Camerax. But there's a whole slew of improvements for the Camerax. There's been a, a big push to improve the software. And I'm hoping that in the next few months, there'll be an official release that sort of rolls all of these improvements into a, an official package that's easy for people to use. Uh, there are beta versions of this uh, software, so if you're curious and want to get a, a heads up on what's coming a little bit sooner in the new software, go onto the forums and start looking around or asking questions for the latest beta, beta software, and uh, that'll have most of the features that I'm, I'm looking to include into the uh, new official release in coming months. So I hope that gives you some ideas on what's coming down the pipeline for the Camerax, and like I said before, I'm always looking for new ideas or people to say that, you know, this certain thing is more important than other things to them. And if enough people say that, I'll bump up the priority of that project. So uh, leave a post and, and say what's most important to you or what you'd like to be able to do with the Camerax in the future. Thanks for watching.